all right i have an object user that has a name property called bob and we all know how to access the property name user.name is how we access it right and if we want to set it user.name equals to you set any value like alice so it is quite simple but the problem is you don't have much control over the property you don't know how it's going to be accessed when it is going to be accessed and which value it is going to get so instead of setting just a simple value over here we can add getters and setters of the property using the get and set keyword let me show you how to do that so i can write get name and set name so now you have two functions getter function and a setter function and this is very useful right because it is a function you can do a lot of things so in setter you will have the value that you are setting as a parameter and then you can set in this object this object is the object that is referred so in this case the user object so you can set this dot underscore uh, name equals to n i'm using a different variable underscore name because you cannot use the same property name otherwise it will go into loop if you use this dot name then javascript will try to call this setter function right so it will go into loop that's why we need another name uh, another property and in getter you can just return this now if i set the name and then console log it user dot name and if i execute the code you can see alice is printed and now how to know this uh, getter function and setter functions are called simply by adding console log here we can check that so i'm adding console log setting name as and in getter i can write console log getting name all right now if i execute the code again i'm setting then i'm getting and then finally i'm printing it now you're seeing how powerful this is right we are just accessing using a simple assignment operator and it's calling a function okay now that we have these functions we can do a lot of creative things like if we just remove the setter what is going to happen we only have the set and getter of the name right we don't have a setter that means name is going to be read only right you can always return some predefined name like bob now if i run this code you can always see bob there is no alice we cannot set any value now let's go back suppose we want to set the name as uppercase characters all you can do is in the setter function you can add two uppercase now if i run this code you can always see setting the name alice but actually it is setting as alice capital now i have updated the name in the setter similarly you can do something with the getter as well like before returning the name you can do something like you can add plus some something now if i run this code you can see that internally the value is alice but while getting the name in the getter i'm adding this uh, hyphens so you can do a lot of crazy things with these getters and setters let me know in the comment section how you use this probably you're not using it yet but after this video i'm sure that you will start using this so let me know if you have any questions and if you liked it please hit like and for more videos like this subscribe to javascript talks thanks for watching